Tonight's game features the visiting Garden City Buffaloes and the host Dodge City Red Demons continuing the storied hatchet game rivalry. We're with Martin Segovia, the athletic director at Garden City High School. And Martin, uh, you've got that uh, cherished hatchet uh, sitting here based upon the fact that Garden won last year's game 18 to 15 in double overtime uh, here at Memorial Stadium. And um, just talk about the, the hatchet. You know, you played here at Garden High. Uh, obviously a big game for the kids, big game for the communities too. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a great rivalry. It dates way back, you know, before my time or anybody else's it seems like. But it's a, it's a fun game. It's enjoyable by both communities. And, you know, obviously the, the coveted hatchet uh, is resting here in Garden City now, but, you know, it has gone back and forth over the years. And, we look forward to the challenge again Friday night. Hopefully, keep it here. The series history for this Dodge City, as we've said, lopsided uh, victors, 70 victories, 35 losses, four ties in favor of the Red Demons. Uh, as far as from 1937, when the Hatchet became part of this rivalry, 47, 26, and one. I guess maybe the hatchet might be significant in some ways, and I mean in many different ways. But I suppose uh, reflective of the of the of the old west and and stuff like that. And I'm not quite sure how the hatchet actually got got to to be where it is. You know, there's just a lot that uh, can be said about it. You know, a lot of different stories that go along with the hatchet, from you know Dodge City um, uh, obviously dominating the series to to Garden City, you know, having a, a span of 13 years of, of having it in a row so again there is a lot of history a lot of stories to go along with it uh, uh, you know I know it's important to both communities but I know the win is probably the most important for the Buffaloes and the Demons with a lot riding on the line not just the hatchet game some our conference uh, finishes have something to do with it as well and then of course our district finish so it's it's a, an important game altogether and this just adds to that element what do you remember about the years that you played at Garden High with the, with the, the, the rivalry with Dodge? Well, I, I played for a couple of years. I played as a junior and senior, and uh, Jake Gifford was a quarterback at my junior year, and uh, they beat us both years, so I remember that because at that time only one team got to go to the playoffs, and uh, unfortunately two teams get to go out of our district this year, and for the last couple, uh, six years, two teams have gone. So. It, it's it's fun. It's it's just an amazing time, and when you get those two types of crowds involved and communities involved with the whether you call it a, a love hate relationship, I don't know. But you know, I don't hate anybody at Dodge City, and I wouldn't necessarily say they hate us. It's just a huge rivalry. It's a big game, and it's a lot of fun. Their final score: Dodge City reclaiming the hatchet, 24-20 over Garden City. Another dramatic hatchet game, this one in favor of Dodge City. So, with that win, Dodge City now 47 wins all time in the hatchet game.